This shit ain't for kids, bro. What's up, everyone? It's your boy XManny87 here, bringing you another Marvel Legends video. And what I have for you today is a quick overview of the new Marvel Legends Spider Man Demo Goblin Build a Figure Series Wave. So, I'm taking a little different approach. You know, I usually review these Marvel Legends from the waves individually to give them their own love, but. Due to uh, a strict schedule, it's not going to allow me the time to do one by one videos. Before I get into everything, if you could please leave a like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now, with that said, let's get to the entirety of this wave. All right, now to kick things off, this is a Spider Man wave, so let's start it off with the Spider Mans that anchor this wave, and they are the Gamerverse Spider Man, the Velocity Suit. From the PS4 Spider-Man game and Mark 3. So I just want to get my gripes out of the way first. And it's not a rant or anything like that. It's just something. It's just to make sense. So they're labeling these two as Gamerverse, right? So the Gamerverse title should be things that originally come from a video game, right? So the Velocity Suit for the Spider-Man PS4 is originally designed suit by Insomniac Games. Like other suits such as the Advanced Suit and Anti-Ox Suit designed by them. Those type of skins uh, should be labeled as Game Reverse. But not the Mark III. The Mark III came from the comics. I don't know why people are saying it, it's from the video game. The Mark III is also known as the Anti-Sinister Six Armor. Which features meant to counteract the various members of the Sinister Six villain team powers. And I can show you an image right here. That it came from the comics. So this suit earns the moniker of Game Reverse. And when I first saw this in the comics. I was like whoa man. I would love to see this uh, costume in Marvel Legends form. Because I really like that armor. I don't know. I, I, I think it didn't translate well as I wanted it to. I guess because they were trying to go for more video game accuracy. But uh, getting straight to the point. The proportions are off on this one. Uh, I mean, look at the hands. The hands are supposed to be mid-thigh, and his fingers are all the way down to, like, if I put them straight down, they're, like, reaching his knee. That's not accurate. That's not well-proportioned at all. This, however, is. Uh, it's mid-thigh, so that's good. This is where um, all hands were needed to subtract the distraction a bit. And the legs are a little too small, and... This is supposed to be armor, and there's supposed to be some bulk with the armor, so this is, like, good, right? This is armor. It, it feels, it looks like an armor, but the proportions are not perfect either on this velocity suit. Like, for instance, there's this big ball on his wrist, and this shit looks swollen, like if he got bitten by a radioactive spider again. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, the other hand does not have that ball right there, so... I, I don't understand. The Mark III doesn't have that, thankfully. But yeah, looking at the Mark III real quick, I love the glossy uh, armor. I can see this helmet being uh, customized by customizers as a Red Hood. Um, you got the nice glossy paint, carbon fiber looking type of texture. It looks good, right? Um, uh, the back with the Spider logo looks really good. You got all these extra aesthetics going on. Again, if they went for just a comic accurate one, it would have been... It, it would have been much better i feel you got the shoulder pads that are pliable so it won't hinder any type of articulation and you got the design right there you got two web shooters it looks like from there and there and then you go down to the waist and you get what the, <laughs> looks like a freaking armored jock strap <laughs> but you know he's, he's got protective spider balls right there so looking at the design it's a nice design i just felt like it came up short and the velocity suit came out looking really good I, I like the velocity suit one of my most used skins in the game and you got more of that armored sculpt going around it looks really good I like the black islands and the light blue I, I don't know why but that looks good um and that's the only part that's black well besides the hands but yeah there's only like three parts that are black on the suit so um nice choice i really like this a lot and you got the nice light blue uh design right there uh i, I love how this spider like the spider just goes down all the way there. I like this design. Insomniac Games always tell a story with their designs, and I, I like this. As this suit is supposed to have like micro gyros that allow for faster sprinting and um, you know time momentum, so that's what makes him 
uh, run real fast. So I like how that, you know, the micro gyros are, uh, it's pretty much circuitry built in here from his torso to down to his legs where he needs uh, his running muscles. And I, I really like this. I really like the sculpt overall to this. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the uh the glossy look to it um it doesn't bother me at all again because it it's coming from an armor and you got the hands there in a black and red color combo so as far as accessory goes the velocity suit comes with this web body trap right here and i'll just use electro as my dummy and this is so freaking cool because you can do that and the mark three comes with a web mask so you can add to that look and make it look like you know you just kick somebody's ass in the video game uh, this is so cool. Something I've always wanted in a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. So while these accessories are extremely cool, however, I felt like Hasbro dropped the ball a bit. Um, and they didn't add anything to complement their suit power. That was the most important thing, was to capture, you know, an accessory complementing their power suit. Like the Velocity suit power is Blitz that lets him knock down his enemies with speed. So it would have been nice to have like a swoosh effect to simulate that for cool running dynamic poses. And the Mark III suit power in the game, uh, it, it reflects bullets that bounces off his armors to hit enemies that are shooting at him. Like this blast effect that comes with White Rabbit for the tip of her umbrella, which I'll cover later in this video. Would have been nice to have something like maybe like a magnetic feature that looks like, you know, um bullets are bouncing off of him or something to pour it in like something I don't know something that could like ricochet like a cool bullet ricochet effect that would kind of look like a zigzag and as far as comparisons you can see the mark 3 again the proportions just off it's it's so much shorter than these at least these are the same height and that's the one thing that kills me about this figure you know it's uh, consistency is the key so if they're going to do a game reverse of the Spider-Man they got to keep them on the same height. To cover articulation for the Velocity Suit Spider-Man, his head moves that far up and looks that far down, so pretty good. Left, right, got some pivoting, not much. His shoulders move that far up, and so you're going to get down all around. You got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed knees, very good. It bends way more than 90 degrees, so that's really good. Wrist swivel, wrist hinge, torso moves that far forward and that far back, really good. And you got the waist swivel, his legs move that far apart, his legs move that far up and that far back, which I wish moved back a little bit more since running is his special ability with the suit. Leg rocker, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and oh, heel to the velocity ass. Ankles move up, down, and he has all around ankle pivot. To cover articulation for Mark III, his head moves that far up, really cool. Moves that far down, left, right, he does have some slight pivoting. His shoulders move that far up, that's all you're going to get. The shoulder pads are pliable, so it's not going to hinder any articulation on the shoulders. Moves down, moves all around. You got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that move in more than 90 degrees. Wrist swivel and the wrist hinge. Diaphragm joint moves that far down, that far back. Got the waist swivel, got the legs that move that far apart, that far forward, and that far back. So really cool, you could get like a frontward swivel. Split. His legs can rock around. He's got the thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and uh, no heel to the Mark III ass, but hits his spine right there. He has ankle swivel. Ankles move up that far, down that low, and he's got ankle pivot. Next up, we have Superior Octopus. So taking a closer look, his face, it looks cool for the most part, but unfortunately, mine has some bad paint chip right there. So there's some white. Um, this right here does not look straight, looks so crooked, and I've seen multiple ones, and they have a lot of bad, bad paint jobs on them. There's little paint bleeds right there, and these black lines going across from his back to the front are clean for the most part. And some of the paint is a little sloppy on the torso for me, not as bad as I've seen others in the store, but if I do see another one that's like perfect, perfect, I'll pick that up. But I like the design here. I really like that octopus that's shaped like a Hydra logo. You know, that's really, really cool since this character uh, you can put on your Hydra shell since he was a member of Hydra. So that is definitely why I would want to. Anyway, so I want to display my Spider-Verse and uh, Hydra. Um, you got some green going throughout there. Uh, so this is, again, this is, it's nice. I like, I like the costume design. I don't have a 
any beef with it. But here is his wristbands, a separate piece. You could take those off if you want. He's got a fist. This is a cool design, cool design for the glove. Got a green there, and you got an open hand right over there. Again, no freaking alternate hands. So looking at the rest of the legs, he's cool. Got this nice gray design, so it's not it's totally plain. I like that. And the back has the tentacle backpack, which I call it. And yeah, these tentacles are annoying. Normally, I don't care for bendy wire. It doesn't It's not the end-all, be-all for me. You know, if it's workable, cool. Um, if, if, if we get it, I'm totally, I'm even more happy with that but with this guy he needed bendy wire uh it, it's just it looks like his tentacles are like all over the place man it doesn't look and you can pop them out and you know switch it around but some of them don't even look good and this is my problem man they come they just pop out easily and they don't stay insecure like it's just not fun trying to come up with poses and then having these things like pop out on you all the time it was just interfering with my joy and I wanted to enjoy this figure but I don't oh my god <laughs> I, I, I really didn't can we get that brand new torso cut that we've been seeing with the legends you know um but if they're gonna give us this man they have to give us a, a second ab crunch right here like in the lightning collection uh because only so much you can do with that but it can pivot which is really cool again the backpack just falls off the tentacles don't look that bad uh they each have like this uh circle that's painted in green on all of them uh so here's the sculpt and they are removable so you can remove it if you like and here's the sculpting on the tentacles again looks nice but could have been a little bit thicker and you got this backpack that just plugs in the back and to cover articulation without the tentacles because they don't keep falling off his head moves that far up it moves that far down left right you got some pivoting and kind of rocks around a little bit arms move that far up so decent it moves down all around you got the shoulder swivel bicep swivel double jointed elbows and you got the wrist swivel and the wrist hinge diaphragm joint that only moves that far down and that far back not much and it kind of swivels not much it does pivot and rocks around the swivel i would depend on the waist like right there and his legs move that far apart that far up not much back and has the leg rocker you got the thigh swivel double jointed knees and heel to the superior ass calf swivel ankles move that far up that far down really good and he has the all-around ankle pivot next up is shang chi so he comes with everything you see here which are two stylized nunchucks and 10 interchangeable hands which are two closed fisted hands two grabbing hands two stylized action hands two karate chopping hands or as i like to call them the bitch slapping hands and two holding hands to hold his nunchucks and i gotta say the nunchucks look really cool you got this gold dragon head at the end with the red and gold so it does match his gear and on the other end as well so i am a fan of this head sculpt it does have a bruce lee type of look to it which the character was inspired by you know i don't i'm not totally comic savvy with shang chi i just read some stuff with him in it but i never ever read like a shang chi dedicated comic book so i know his movie's coming out soon so i might you know pick up a few reads to get more familiar with the character uh but uh it, it looks really really good man i do do like the headband bandana here and it has this nice flowing effect would have been cool to have an alternate head where it's just down um because you know uh, his, his bandana can't be flowing all the time if he's standing still um anyway uh the eyes are a little too close together i feel so um man i could see a lot of people making luke kang customs out of this, this guy basically looks like luke kang and or quick kick from uh, G.I. Joe. And we get titties. Well, man, titties. And he got nipples painted on, man. That is that is funny. Uh, it's just... <laughs> it, it's it's weird looking. But hey, it it adds the, to the realism, right? You got that Kane Scarlet Spider body mold that I really like. And he looks ripped like a Bruce Lee. So, I mean, this book is... Uh, that was a nice choice to go with. And you got that uh, sash. He's very muscular on the shoulder areas here. Um, and you got his pants and everything is red this pretty much is newly sculpted the bottom right here and maybe the thighs right there but yeah uh, you got some gold design right there and you got bare feet for articulation his head moves that far up it moves that far down left right you do get great head pivoting and it does rock around you got shoulders that rock back and forth to the nipples shoulders move that far up down 
all around. And you got the shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist swivel, and the wrist hinge. Ab crunch moves that far forward and that far back. Waist swivel, legs move that far apart and moves that far forward and that far back. Back, so cool you could get a frontward split legs rock around you got the thigh swivel double jointed knees and oh man oh, heel to the back you got the calf swivel ankles move up that far down that low and he does have all around ankle pivot next up we got white rabbit and she's looking super cute and this is one of those characters obscure characters that i wanted for spider-man we all know that spider-man has one of the biggest array of super villains uh, in comic books, so Hasbro has to tackle his obscure ones too, and it's it's great. Anyway, let's look at this hot Playboy bunny, and she is really really cute, and she's got the white face paint, and you know uh, whiskers, uh, lips, nose painted in a nice pinkish color. Get the blonde eyebrows painted over the uh, face paint right there, and I really like her hair. It came out really really nice, um, kind of crazy looking. <laughs> But overall, you know, sculpted nicely and painted nicely. And you got the rabbit ears sticking up. So that's uh, newly sculpted there. I believe this whole hair is newly sculpted. So you get pink inside the ears. And you get this one bent ear that looks cool. You get a little pink bow tie. And then you get her jacket, which was reused from the Scarlet Witch Infinity War, I believe, or Civil War. And so uh, it's a good reuse of this here. She's got two open gripping hands. And that's to hold her umbrella. So this is... Uh, the look of the umbrella and it looks nice the end of the umbrella has that nice shooting effect so as i showed you before during my spider-man segment you know uh, you can remove it and um have just a regular umbrella for her displayed would have been cool to have other accessories to go along with her like some mutated rabbits you know <laughs> but i don't think they would uh, ever uh, use that again but it would have been cool because this character has some uh, wacky wacky traits speaking of traits she's got some nice playboy bunny boobs right there so uh, <laughs> i could definitely see this being uh reused for emma frost white queen down the line I'm without that clock right there and that's so cool i like how the clock is painted sculpted nicely getting down to the legs she's got some nice you know some nice meat on her thighs so i like that in a woman and she's got some nice uh furry sculpted boots so that looks really nice giving mbaku a run for his money in terms of fashion footwear huh for articulation her head moves that far up so not much it moves down left right you do get some good pivoting and rocks around Shoulders move up that far, really good, down that low, all around. You got the shoulder swivel, you got elbow swivel, single jointed elbows that don't bend in 90 degrees, and you got the wrist hinge and wrist swivel. The torso crunch is pretty much non-existent and moves back a little, and it just swivels. Yeah, you're not going to get much out of it. That's a bummer. They really need to improve on the diaphragms of these females to give them more bend. Her legs move that far apart. It moves that far up and that far back. Not much. The coat will definitely hinder that, but let's see right there. And yeah, you could get some Playboy bunny butt right there. One thing about these legs, they are really, really loose, and I have two of these. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees and oh no heel to the rabbit butt. And you got the boot swivel. Ankles move up, down, and ankle pivot. Next up we have everyone's most anticipated figure of this wave, which is the classic vulture. For accessories, he comes with an alternate head, which is the Blackie Drago head. And you can tell he has the Blackie Drago helmet on. Um, I don't know if this looks like Blackie Drago to me. It just looks like Adrian Toomes with a helmet on. <laughs> So this blacky Drago head does not work for this body. It's, it's on the same pizza as Spider-Man body mold. Um, so blacky Drago was more thick in build. So I don't think I'll be buying an extra vulture to display this head. However, I might do so because now there's a running change. Taking a closer look at the Adrian Toomes head. Man, this thing looks sick. He does look like a sadistic looking older man. And uh, he's got the three liver spots right there. So I thought that was a neat touch. Um, so that's really cool. You got a lot of red around the eyes, so that's really cool. Um, the paint, the sculpt, I'm happy with this. It, it just looks really cool. I just wish he had more of a bird-shaped nose, you know, something um, a little exaggerated. But I'm totally fine with this. I think it looks great. Then he has the white feathers or fur, I should say, uh, on the collar area. So that's cool. It's a separate piece. You could remove it if you want to. Now for his wings, they are labeled, so there's an R, so that'll go on his right side. So you're going to take the small one and attach that to the back of the bicep right there. And uh, we'll take the right 
wing and clip it onto the forearm right there. Do the same on the other side. And now you have your vulture with wings ready to take flight. Now, uh, here's my problem. And these things, I don't like the clip-on feature. I kind of wish they were kind of either sculpted on or have swappable arms so I can display them without the wings. You know, uh, these things are popping off easily. And going back to the running change I was mentioning earlier is that uh, supposedly this part to the bicep is already attached. It's not it's not a separate piece you can like remove. It's already permanently attached to that. And uh, yeah, so I'll have to probably buy that running chain. So I'll keep an eye out for that. One thing with Vulture that's extremely annoying if you're trying to simulate some flying poses, like trying to move his arms back. You see that? Those uh, the wings attached to the biceps they just pop off. If I try to do something like this to have his arms back, I don't even have space to clip that in as you see it so it leaves this gap which leads to another thing that bothers me is that when you bend in his elbow you get this big gap right there and that just totally kills it for me so i wish there was a way i wish that with this like this wing i wish there was some sort of extension where it could just like kind of like slide and you know kind of like slide and curve over to connect here just so that it eliminates that gap so yeah that's just what really bothers me but i mean it's a terrific figure don't get me wrong it, it is terrific i like the paint right here i would love to seen that throughout if they weren't going to uh sculpt any of the lines i'm happy with the paint to cover articulation for vulture his head moves up that far which is really good we need that for aerial type characters moves that far down left right you got some pivoting and maybe some rock around you got the shoulders that move that far up so really good it moves down you got the shoulder butterfly joint that moves back and forth and again if you're trying to articulate them this is what i hate it keeps falling off your uh shoulders uh, excuse me bicep swivel double jointed elbows really good wrist swivel and the wrist hinge you got the ab crunch that moves that far forward good for a uh, vulture but i wish we got a little more bend man uh that far back uh it keeps popping back uh no that's fine and you got the waist swivel legs move that far apart legs move that far up that far back legs rock around a little bit thigh swivel double jointed knees and yes heel to the freaking butt his ankles move up down and ankle pivot for some comparisons here he is next to the sinister six all we need is a classic electro here he is next to the mcu vulture which that wingspan is absolutely insane and now on to the build a figure which is demo goblin and man this might be my favorite figure out of this set all right, so first let's take a look at his accessory, which is the glider, and it comes with this stand. So when you purchase White Rabbit, it comes with both of these. And the cool thing about this stand is that uh, it is the same stand that um, comes with the Star Wars Black Series Scout Trooper speeder bikes. So it's cool to see that they're borrowing from uh, other lines or seeing these two lines uh, help each other out. So that is really cool. Plus it's small. It won't take up much space on your display shelf. So I kind of like this. Taking a closer look at this, man. This thing is super sick. I love, I like the size of it. I gotta say, it's not too big and it's not too small. Yeah, I wish the other gliders were about this size. Uh, especially this one. This one pissed me off how small it was. I didn't like that. But yeah, I, I, again, I think this is... A really good size for a glider so it has this beautiful flame paint job to it and uh, a bit translucent as well so if you um do photography you will definitely love how this will light up you got that goblin demon look hence the name demo goblin right uh, i mean it looks really really cool got the claws there and man this is so cool and you got the porch right there for his Feet, and I'll show you that it's not that hard to slide his foot in either so you're just gonna angle it nicely slide his foot in and I'll do that the same on the other end and boom there you go you don't have to worry about it falling off his feet or anything like that so it's a tight grip on there now this head sculpt is freaking insane man I it's so sick uh, the tongue sticking out right there this face sculpt is absolutely sick uh, look at the teeth right there. Look at the, you know, uh, the tongue. 
Man, even though the tattered up hood, that looks so freaking cool. And I like how there's red paint underneath that. And then you get some, you get this nice dark blue throughout. And you got the tip of the hood right there. So it's the same body mold as the Hobgoblin Green Goblin, but you get these uh, newly added parts. So you got this strap right here that's connected to the belt and it has the little Demogoblin belt buckle. And it's got some tattered up, uh, you know, holding material there. And uh, you got the arms again, tattered up. I really like that look, man. So cool. You got the chains right there on the wrist. So it's a separate piece and is removable. And these claws look vicious, man. I, I like that. I wouldn't want to be scratched by those. Same on the other end. That has a more gripping type of hand. You can use the older pumpkin bombs to, uh, you know, arm them with some uh, bombs. And it fits nicely and tight. So it, yeah, you it won't fall off. So that's really cool. Looking at the rest of the legs, you know. That nice blue color, you get red right here on those Buccaneer type of uh, looking boots. And uh, boots, same as Hobgoblin and Green Goblin with the pointy shoes right there. And the tattered up cape, nice blue color, you know, inside is red, beautiful. For articulation, his head moves that far up and that far down. It moves left, right, got some pivoting, not much rocking around. His arms move that far up up so those scales hinder it and if you look closely i scuffed up some of the scales while trying to do some poses during photography so yeah look out for that arms move down all around you got the bicep swivel double jointed elbows that bend in more than 90 degrees really good wrist swivel and the wrist hinge ab crunch that moves that far forward and that far back you got the waist swivel Legs move that far apart, legs move that far up and that far back, so really good. Legs rock around, you got the thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and oh no heel to the goblin ass, but heel to the back. Calf swivel, ankles move up that far, down that low, and all around ankle pivot. For comparisons, here he is next to the red goblin. As you can see, I bought an extra white rabbit so I can give my red goblin a glider, and my god, this figure looks complete now. It is amazing. Here he is next to the Hop Goblin with the Demo Goblin alt head. Here he is next to Doppelganger and Carnage. And finally, here he is next to Venom and the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Raft Set Spider Man McFarlane style. And yeah, if you're trying to complete your Maximum Carnage roster, definitely get this guy. All right, now to wrap things up, the wave is pretty decent. It just bumps me out that Hasbro didn't put more effort into any of the three Spider Mans featured in his own wave. Being that Spider-Man PS4 is my favorite video game of all time next to Batman Arkham City, the web effects are cool for any other Spider-Man figure, but not having accessories to complement the superpowers were a missed opportunity to make them great. I have a huge attachment to the game and I was super excited for these, but in the end, it didn't give me that excitement I was looking for. I worry for future Gamerverse releases now, so we'll have to wait and see on that. Superior Octopus annoyed me with the constant tentacles popping out anytime I try to pose him. Shang-Chi came out great and wish he could share some of those hands with his fellow Spider-Man wave mates. <laughs> White Rabbit came out looking super clean and her uniqueness is great to add her to any Spider-Man display to highlight those other obscure characters. Vulture came out awesome look wise. Unfortunately, the wings pop off way too much when trying to get some flowers poses. This restricts the main trait that we should feel happy about most when posing him around, but it is a much needed figure to complete our classic Sinister Six. Demo Goblin is hands down the best figure of the wave. An amazing glider with a posable flight stand, great paint job, amazing scope that feels very toy busy-ish, and overall the best looking figure out of the wave. So overall this wave ranking uh, for me will be a 7.5 out of 10. Um, I think that's fair, there's nothing that will blow your socks off, but you know, give you some some characters that uh, you'll probably need to pick up like Vulture or the Spider-Mans for your Spider-Verse display. And if you grew up in the 90s like I did, you will definitely want them a goblin for your maximum carnage. So that was my review. Please drop a like rating on the video, comment, we'll chat about it. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.